how to adjust the brightness and contrast of your image. Because a lot of times when you take a photograph with your camera or your phone, sometimes the image comes out uh, way too bright or even way too dark. So I wanna show you how to fix that in the easiest way possible. So this is a follow along practice video. I've included the link in the description below for you to download for free the image or images that I'm using. Yes! If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. So I'm going to hit the letter D just to get my default colors back to black and white. And notice this image. Notice how it's very dark. Now, for those of you that understand histograms, which I'm sure if you're a photographer, you do, I'm gonna go up to window and down to histogram just so that I can see a histogram. Now, I don't care about the color histogram, so I'm just gonna check luminosity. And this is what I would see on the back of my camera. We all know that the left side of the histogram is pure black, the right side is pure white, and everything in between is all the levels of gray. And generally, we want that histogram to be shifted to the right, because this is where more of the tones are, and they're better quality tones. So we need to make this brighter for sure. So let me show you a very easy way to adjust the brightness and contrast of your image. Just come up to image, go down to adjustments and choose brightness and contrast. It's gonna load a box in front of your image that you can grab the title bar and move it to wherever you want. Now, generally I would say with today's versions of Photoshop, which are so sophisticated, click the auto button right away and just see where Photoshop thinks it should be. I think it did a really good job. I mean, that looks nice. I have a full range of tones, obviously based on the histogram, I don't have pure white yet, but as you'll learn in the Monker White illusion videos that I've created, Color lines are going across different balls, and this is the illusion. All the balls are the exact same kind of flesh color uh, that our eye will deceive us. So it's really about relative tones. Relatively speaking, this looks like a brighter image that has a full range from white to black. Now our eyes auto adjust. So if you want to see what it looked like before, just toggle off the preview icon here. Wow, that's really dark and dull, isn't it? Now you can always manually come up and drag these sliders to wherever you want. Now, if you wanna start back from zero, instead of having to drag it back to exactly zero or select it and hit the zero to get it back to zero, an advanced tip is if you hold down the Alt or Option key, it changes your cancel button to a reset button, allowing you to reset everything. And I like to do this because I see a lot of students that will just cancel to close it. They'll come back, image, adjustments, brightness, and contrast, and then they'll start all over. But remember, all you have to do is hold down the Alt or Option key, and the cancel button will change the reset in pretty much every dialog box in Photoshop where you have an OK and cancel selection. So actually, I think the auto did a really good job. I might tweak it a little bit just so I can feel like I had a part of it, but I think that's great. Now, one thing to take note of, whenever you brighten up a dark image, you're going to reveal a lot of noise in the dark shadow areas. I'm gonna zoom in by holding down the command and space bar to temporarily change my cursor to a magnifying glass and click. I'm at 200%. I'll let go of the command key and with just a space bar, I'll click and drag. So I'm at 200% to make sure you can see this through video. You really don't need to view your image more than at 100% resolution, which is found right down here. This box always tells you what the magnification of your image is. And again, you never really need to go above 100%. So do you see all these pixelation? There's actually a little bit of JPEG artifacting. Do you see the color shifts? So that's, that's a potential problem. I'll hit Command-0 to shrink it back in screen. If I toggle the preview on and off, this is a way better solution. So I'm gonna click OK. Another advanced tip, photographers, designers, digital media artists, pretty much everybody always has to do something in a creative way that's not specifically photographic. So if I wanted to take this image and screen it back to be behind some text or on a website, if you go back up to image, adjustments and brightness and toggle on these legacy controls and you pull that brightness way up and that contrast down and watch this i'm gonna click ok then i'm gonna go up again brightness and contrast and i can choose legacy and i can do it all over again now as i bring the brightness up i get these white hot spots so lowering the contrast makes those go away but this gives me a, a nice screen back effect that's very different than lowering the opacity so you can repeat this over and over and over until you get the density of an image that you like so I reverted back to the original brightness and contrast adjustment that we made. Now notice what it did. It applied it to the background base image, which means if I save this, close it, that setting is gonna be forever baked into the image. And if I try to adjust it again after I've baked it in, it's gonna degrade the image. That's why all the adjustments up in the menu bar for image adjustments, these are all destructive edits. 
which means just what it says. It's going to kind of degrade your image when you apply them, save them. You can never really undo them in an easy way that doesn't alter your image quality. The good thing is you have all of these controls as adjustment layers. Adjustment layers can be found right over here under adjustments. If you so now go watch this video to see how brightness and contrast adjustment layers work. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> god. Oh my god, I did! This is hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. <laughs>